Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Hi, Dave. Franklin here. My 15-year-old son received his ticket about 18 months ago, ticket being amateur radio license. We then ran 140 feet of wire from the AH-4 tuner. The AH-4 for tuner is an icon device that is a remote tuner that is designed to tune random lengths of wire and does it very well. The reason it's remotely tuned is because there can be a very large SWR difference between the antenna and 50 ohms. And if there's no feed line, meaning the tuner is right up against the antenna, then there's nothing in there to lose power to. So it's a great way to use just anything as an antenna. Although the antenna tuners put out by ICOM and Yesu are a bit on the pricey side. Okay, then we ran 140 feet of wire from the tuner that's 15 feet off the ground to a tree 165 feet away, and the wire was 90 foot high at the tree. Well, it came down to the weather. It's now only 18 feet high, so the AH4 is 15 feet high. And 140 feet away is 18 feet instead of 90. He says it's not going to work. Well, it's not going to work like it did before. Things will change. Will it work 10 to 80, whatever that means? If not, I'll hire a climber. And uh, let's take a look at what this is, okay? He has a radio, the ICOM 7300, say. Okay, and there is a tuner out here. It's outside, so you have the, the uh, RG58, say. And a 50, I'm sorry, the RG8X. And then you've got control cables here, okay? And then from here, you attach a wire to wherever you want, and ideally this is grounded. Okay, this is the AH-4. Right there. That's the AH-4 antenna tuner. It's a weatherized unit designed to work outside. This wire, any length, and this will tune it. Now what happened is this wire came down because it came out of the tree. So now he has from the top of the house this drooping thing like this. Now, here before he had 90 feet height, it was a sloper, okay, which meant it would mostly transmit that way. Now he has a low to the ground antenna. It's mostly going to translate not translate, mostly it's going to uh, transmit up. Now on, and, and even on most frequencies. Now ideally, while you're waiting to get this antenna back the way it was, I would suggest that you go ahead and operate. I think you're going to be quite pleasantly surprised to find that it works well for you. Now, this antenna is not a long wire. These long wires are two to three wavelengths long. It's very long, okay, unless you get up around 10 meters or so. This is what's called a random wire. Random wires are a different kind of antenna. Long wires are wave antennas. Random wire can be any old thing, and it will have an impedance to tune, and you can tune that with that right there. Something to keep in mind with antennas is that any antenna you put up is going to work somewhat. Now, what these antenna tuners are designed for is for mobile use or in use in like a Japanese yard where there is very little outside room to put an antenna. And so they've got these tuners to help you tune basically anything and make it work. Now, normally when we tune something with a terrible S, uh, SWR, 
it shows that we've tuned it, and we have. But there's a lot of circulating currents going back and forth between the various reactances in the tuning circuit. And this is between the antenna, which is reactive one way, and the antenna tuner, which presents the conjugate, which presents the complex conjugate to it. Okay, so what this does is create very high circulating currents and you get ohmic resistive losses. If you collapse these together like this, then there's nothing in there to lose the power and you get a much more efficient installation. Something to keep in mind next time you're tuning something like a 43 foot vertical that is radically uh, weird in terms of its impedance match. So there you have it. Please uh, tell your son, um, Franklin, tell your son that it should still work. Give it a shot. You'll be pleasantly surprised. And then go ahead and try and get that thing back up in the air again. Okay? There you have it. For those who would like to help this channel financially, you can certainly do so by going to decastlercom support. And until we next meet, 73.